What's up, guys? Welcome back. Look, this is my buddy, DJ. However, I know this isn't the snake that you're here to see, but I had him out and I figured, man, might as well start the video with this thing. Love this BCI, red tail boa, whatever you want to call them. But let's get into the real video and the snake everybody is here to see. Possibly the coolest, not the most favorite, but or most beautiful, but coolest looking snake I have ever owned the blizzard corn snake possibly even an albino with uh with how red his eyes are but look at this dude have you ever seen such an awesome snake the difference between these guys now i have never been a fan of the corn snake milk snake uh realm just because they, you know, i just feel like they don't hold on i've always been the the boa and python kind of guy but i could not pass this dude up I mean, he is gorgeous. I love the yellow underneath, uh, which is a, a big trait of these blizzard corn snakes. Um, he's probably pushing about eight years old. One really cool thing, I guess, or, you know, is different than, than the boas and the, and the pythons is that he doesn't really hold on. <laughs> like, you know, corn snakes and milk snakes, in my experience, are just all over the place. But this dude is cute. I mean, just look. Just look at this dude. I brought him outside just to get a little bit of the, cl the cloudy sunlight. <laughs> and another cool fact that's way different than I'm used to is that these guys don't even need like the, the lights. They don't need the UVB, the UVA. Technically, they just need heat. I've never in my life had a snake that I didn't have to have uh, 42 bulbs on top of uh, to make sure that they had everything that they needed which is a uh, I guess a huge plus for this dude however you know he's still got some light but and the size of him I just I, I it's crazy I mean that thing is pushing it's got to be pushing four feet uh, of a corn snake you know and, and they do they live for a good time so let this be a lesson to to some of you guys when you see these little corn snakes sitting in the in the pet store and you're like oh my god he's so pretty uh they're gonna they're gonna get big um and you know we finally fed him and i mean he ate a pretty decent sized mouse uh he did do exactly what we've always done which is funny right about taking them out of their enclosure to feed them that they're gonna get pretty big um you know they don't quite get the thickness or the or the power as far as wrapping and and that kind of thing that uh the boas and the pythons get but lengthwise i mean he's up there he's probably up there with uh, you know a full-grown ball python and some of the uh other snakes that a lot of people mention as far as like how big or small that the boas and pythons get so just keep that in mind uh, when we got him he was a little skinny we could see the the spine kind of going down through him right here it's not that somebody didn't take care of him it was just one of those things so we've been uh trying to feed him now about two to three times a week Again, it's one of those things that just happens. We make it happen. Uh, he's done well so far. We've had him the first week and he's eaten two. Next week, I'll probably try three just to fatten it up a little bit, get him, get him thick, yes. But as you can see, this guy just never stops moving. And it's just so cool to see. However, when you got kids, especially my four-year-old, uh, trying to hold this guy, he's all over the place. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let him get down. I know some people frown like you shouldn't put him in the grass. Oh my gosh, get over it. And we'll see what he does. <laughs> it's funny. Look, look how what he does. He tries to like bury himself in the grass. <laughs> it's just that natural instinct to do. And look how long that dude is, man. But God, that is just one of the most gorgeous colors I have ever seen on a snake. Wow. All the way down. By the way, we asked so many people, we did a little survey and his name, since we found out he is a boy, 100% is going to be Olaf. <laughs> I think if it was a girl, it was gonna be Elsa, but instead we had a quick change and everybody went with Olaf. So. I hope you guys enjoyed Olaf. I just wanted to make a really quick, awesome video of this dude because I just, I'm telling you, I have owned a lot of snakes in my life. 
This is one of the coolest I have ever had. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, you know, awesome little video. I can't wait to do some more with him, a little maybe some educational and, and all the other snakes that we have. But remember, love wildlife, most of all, love reptiles. And until next time on this great adventure, I'll see you.